Use the distributive property to rewrite the expression, then solve. 4 times 58. There's going to be two points to these types of problems. One for rewriting and one for solving. Okay? 4 times 58 can be written like this. 4 times 50. There's your 50. Plus parenthesis 4 times 8. I'm going to solve each one. 4 times 5 is 20. Add to 0. 4 times 8 is 32. Add 200 plus 32. The answer is 232. This will be one point. This will be another point. Okay? Plus 2. Evaluate the expression 32V when V equals 4. When you see these types of problems on the test, there's a variable, V. You just take the 4 and insert it into the equation or the expression. So what this really means is 32 times 4. You may solve 32 times 4 in any way that you know how. I'm going to make an algorithm out of it and do 4 times 2 is 8 and 4 times 3 is 12 for a total of 128. So for these problems, one point, substitute the number for where the variable is. One thing you want to keep in mind, these are the symbols for multiplication. You have an X, a dot, if you have a number right next to a variable, this also means times. If you have parentheses next to a number, this also means times or multiplication. You need to know all of your multiplication notation. Next type of problem is a problem with multiples of 10 or 100 or 1,000. When you see all of these zeros like this, identify the math fact, which in this case is 12, uh, 3 times 4, or 4 times 3, which equals 12. Then count the zeros, 1, 2, 3, add that many zeros onto your problem, and that's how you solve this type, where you've got multiplications with multiples of 10, 100, 1,000, 10,000, etc. This type of problem, you're going to want to solve using an algorithm. So I will rewrite it, 24,501 times 3. I'm going to take my 3 times every, every place value in 24,501. Let me use another color. 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times 0 is 0. 3 times 5 is 15. This is our first regrouping. Put the 5 below in the algorithm and regroup the 1. Multiply first, then add the regrouping. 3 times 4 is 12, then add 1 is 13. Regroup the 1. Again, multiply 2 times 3 first, then add the regrouping. 2 times 3 is 6, plus 1 is 7. The answer is 73,503. Okay. Now we're getting into larger numbers using an algorithm. Okay. I will first rewrite it in this way. Then I will use two different colors to solve to show you the algorithm. I'm going to start doing the ones and I will even write ones over here so that I remember I'm doing the ones. 9 times 7 is 63, okay? Put the 1's below in the algorithm, regroup the 6, multiply first, then add. 9 times 3 is 27, plus 6 is 33. Put the 3 from the 1's place below, regroup the 3 10's. Multiply first, then add. 4 times 9 is 36, plus 3 is 39. I'm now doing the 10s. 
When you start doing the tens, you need to hold the zero because anything times a multiple of 10 has a zero at the end. Two times seven is 14. Put the four from 14 below, regroup the one. Multiply first, then add. Two times three is six, plus one is seven. No regrouping. Two times four is eight. Add my two partial products, my ones plus my tens. Three, seven, 16, regroup the ones. Uh, one plus three is four, plus eight is 12. The answer is 12,673. This is the largest type of multiplication problem you're going to see on the test, three digit by three digit. I'll rewrite it in the algorithm. 346 times 209. Ones in red. Nine times six is 54. Put the four ones below, regroup the five tens, multiply first, then add. Nine times four is 36, plus five is 41. Put the ones below, regroup the tens, multiply first, then add. Three times seven, or seven, nine times three is 27, plus four is 31. When I start multiplying the tens, I need to hold a zero because anything times a multiple of 10 has one zero at the end of it, at least one zero. Zero times six is zero. Zero times four is zero, and zero times three is zero, okay? I'm going to go ahead and put all those zeros in there just to keep everything lined up for myself. When I start multiplying the hundreds, I need to put two zeros because anything times a multiple of 100 will end in at least two zeros. Two times six is 12. I have to regroup, put the ones below, Regroup the tens, multiply first, then add your regrouping. Two times four is eight plus one is nine. No regrouping. Two times three is six. Add them together. Four, one, three, 12, regroup, seven. 72,314. The final type of problem says this, estimate by rounding. I'm going to look at 57, and I will round that to the greatest place value, which is the tens. Who's that knocking on my back door? Five or more, raise the score. So I raise the 57 to a 60. This is the greatest place in 691, it's the hundreds place. Who's that knocking on my back door? Five or more, raise the score. Raise the score from 600 to 700. Once I get to this point, once I've done the rounding correctly, I identify the math fact, which in this case is six times seven, which equals 42. Then I count the zeros. There are three of them, and that is the answer. 